Uh, Diary, hello. It's the uh, 3rd of August 2021 and today we're in for a money-saving treat and that is I'm going to try and what's called shuck a hard drive. Now this is a Seagate 5 terabyte hard drive uh, and the backstory is that I'd like to use that in my NAS system. Now um, it's been a, a bit of an annoyance to me that for years the limitation of size on a two and a half inch drive has been about five terabytes and it's still five terabytes. Anyway, um, the NAS has not been fully populated until now and I really have absolutely run out of space. Um, in terms of performance, adding this last drive should give me better performance because I'll have six in, uh, sorry, five internal drives, not, not four. But the curious thing to note is that when you buy, if I was to try and buy the drive bare, which is difficult, it would actually cost me more than buying the drive in this little external unit. So this is a Seagate five terabyte external hard drive. It comes with a USB cable, not shown, and I'm gonna try and get into it and hopefully it's a drive that is shuckable. So it's been at least a year since I've done this, but I seem to remember and one of these edges is susceptible to opening. Uh, these tools are from iFixit, by the way. Uh, I highly recommend the company. Uh, if I'm lucky, it's going to be as easy as... Okay. I don't really care about um, damaging this case because I've got a couple of old cases. I think I've thrown some of them away. So the edge has come out, which is a good sign. But now, I'm on camera with no editing skills. I've got to get a move on. Uh, oh, oh, more, more. So I think this is going to, I think it's hinged around here. We'll just keep going. Hmm. Yes, we've got it. Now, am I going to be lucky or not, is the question. These rubber mounts here come out and how does the drive come up? Come on baby, comes off, that's very nice. So there's a USB port there. Like I say, yeah, it was one of those stage videos where I'd done this a million times, I could, I could get this done in minutes but I haven't done this for at least a year or two. Right. So there is the drive, it's out. Take these little rubber mounting pads off. And we're gonna peel off this. Again, this is real time. There's no editing going on here. Hmm. Come on, baby. Okay, it's coming. This edge. Okay, we're almost there. Last edge. Great. Almost done. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got a Seagate ST5000LM000. This is a five terabyte Seagate Barracuda drive. Oops, better camera. Let's get rid of the rubbish. And what is the next step? The next step is to remove this proprietary interface. So there's an interface on the, on the back that allows, that converts from the SATA to a USB connection. We want to save this because believe it or not, that interface does have some value. And you could even, I've had actually the occasion to even sell one of these interfaces. So, uh, I mean, the full story about why I never um, inserted the five drives into the NAS to start off with was purely cost. So these drives, 
come from Amazon at about £100. And I thought that over time the price would reduce, but of course the price hasn't reduced due to COVID. There's been a bit of a, an increase in disc prices, I would say, and uh, other factors like uh, Bitcoin mining has taken up the price of some drives. So, right, we've got the drive out. This is the drive now with a, uh, a SATA interface. And the USB to SATA converter is here. Uh, the next step is going to be to plug it into a system and see if it actually works as a disk drive. So here's a disk caddy that I have had standing by. And I hoped I was going to be able to make a successful job of this. Plugging it in, switching it on. I can hear disk starting. Now question in my mind is, I've got a Linux computer started and Bob has in fact your uncle and so let me show you, here's the drive in the, in the, in the caddy, try and move out of the way here, and here is my lovely little Ubuntu PC, a bit difficult to see here, let me just see if I can zoom in on that. So you can probably see now that there is the actual drive, it's turned up as slash dev slash sdb in uh, Unix terms. Uh, you can see it's got an, it's, it's, this is this did ha have something on it. Uh, it's an EFI partition and then I've got a, a basic data partition which has been formatted by Microsoft. Uh, so that's it. Uh, successfully shut, as they say in the trade, this drive here. I will now use in my NAS box and the next video will have, will be a bit of a tutorial as to how to insert it into the NAS box and then rebalance the RAID array. Uh, so that's a five terabyte drive. It's about £100 from Amazon. Highly recommended. Thanks for watching.